All right, come on down. That's my chouch. But Tara's got 13,000 materials for us. Huh. Solid. Hold solid. He's got to do the same. That's the thing, right? I'm not no shut up, Arya. Shut, shut up, Rami. I'll get the spit out of your mouth. Excuse me. Bitch, shut the fuck. <clears throat> so, uh, Zolo, Carmelo wanted uh, to come down here to, you know, patch things up. And uh, you guys can get everything off your chest. Really get down to the nitty gritty as to what occurred. You know, we're at the end of the day, we're all on the same team here. Do you have anything to say, <laughs> Zolo? See, this, this is why. How about I... this? Carmelo, tell them what you didn't like first. Okay. You know, I feel like I've had a recurring issue with you, Zolo, over the past, you know, beginning since I knew you, of you can't just mind your own business. Especially when things are serious, you have to get involved and you take things too far, which is why I stabbed you, which I probably shouldn't have. But, you know, I was having a very serious, emotional day and you just kept picking at it and picking at it and picking at it and that is it you know i tried to walk away and i said no i'm done and then you know you just kept what making it into a joke and then i stabbed you and i don't know if you realize how that is but you know when you're going through a shit fucking day and you're getting teamed up on by all the fucking clowns. You're getting jumped into lava. People are fucking shit talking you over and over again. Then, you know, to have someone that you think is supposed to have your back, just turn it around into one big joke. It doesn't feel that good. So? You should have to say something here, Zolo, you know? Unless there's anything else you want to say, Carmela? And I feel like when Mr. K is not around, you can be a little sassy or controlling. But you, know, you can say whatever you want about me. <laughs> oh, this is so crazy. Not all right. Uh, first of all, it's supposed to just be Kay and Rami and Carmela here. I'm not gonna lie. I just, I just, I just don't want this so situation to get. Mouth, no, it's not just. I'm not talking about Aria. No, you are. That's but what, 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 like, okay. what, 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 like, what, what do you, what are you talking about controlling? I'm confused. I mean, it's just like our. Like, I think you come up with, like, false things to uh, perpetrate your narrative. Like, because at the end of the day, that day when I came up to you, you was feeling by yourself. And I was trying to help you in the situation. You said you wanted to go kill Manor. I said, wait for Kay. You said this whole situation about Tugs. But you left out that you ran over Tugs. And then at the end of the day, all I said was when... When you when you was explaining it to Paris, I was like, oh, shit, I didn't hear the Raymond part. And I said, yeah, I like Raymond. And you said, well, she says I'm a mean girl. And I said, well, isn't that what you embrace? That part I was stirring, whatever. But you stabbed me three different times when we was doing the jab. Hold on. We was doing the we was doing something in K-Town. You came up, you stabbed me. Tommy T had to take me to the hospital. Right, I was, I was, and you put me in a bush for 45 minutes. I didn't tell nobody. I left it. Then when Vinny and Kay were um, playing with you and Richard at the the meat place, and you uh, changed, uh, they they put the arm on different each others. You came to the house, let two guys in, two strangers in the house, and stabbed me again and left me in the house. So let me talk. Oh, hold on, you right there. hold on. I let you talk. Taco came and picked me up to the hospital. Then you stabbed me again. So that's three times. And I haven't done nothing to you. I haven't spoke ill about you or disrespected you in any kind of way. This whole week, you've been dragging my name through the mud. At the end of the day. Excuse me? To who? To everybody. Even people that's not in the gang. 
Even Who? people that's I not in the gang. Talk to people that aren't in the gang. What are you talking okay, about? Can I finish, Carmella? Okay, yeah, All right. And at the end of the day, you're in the gang, and I fuck with you. I've always had your back, but you be you be you be very disrespectful to me and targeting me all the time, right? I don't know what your issue is with me, but I got no issue with you, and I've never talked ill or disrespected you in any kind of way. That day, when you was explaining certain stuff to me, yes, certain stuff I wasn't listening to, and um, I can say that, and I, but I don't want you to feel like you're left out or you're not wanted from any of that. So I can understand the actions that day was a build up and maybe what I said was the tip on the iceberg. But you also got to take accountability for certain shit you do and certain shit you egg on. Because I don't be stern. I just asked you what was going on because you was by yourself that day. Okay. So let me just, you know, start it back. You know, you seem to be thinking about stuff from the past. First time I stabbed you was in K-Town, where Mr. K told me that I could be the head guard and whatever I say go. I asked you about 10 times for you to be relieved of your guard duty. I never said that, you know, you had to leave K-Town or anything, but I said, hey, I'm the head judge and I'm telling you to <laughs> clock off. Why? And Why, you know, though? Why me? Because, because you just wanted to do it. You just wanted to do it. I was there chilling before and you came in. I'm the head guy. So get off duty. That's why you did it. And you say um, I'm controlling. No, it's okay. Well, let me continue. Um, you know, I had the head guard <laughs> role, which was given to me by <laughs> Mr. K. And he oh, even God, said that, you know, I could do whatever, you know, I could. And you just <laughs> ignored me and ignored me and ignored me and this and that. And it seems like you really don't fucking take anything serious unless it comes from K's mouth. I don't remember that second time that I stabbed you, but I do remember that you hit me with a wrench one time over some bullshit. I don't even remember what happened, but you don't remember don't act opening all the door. Innocent. You don't remember opening a door and letting Honey, those two guys Honey, I remember stab you me. forgot to leave the fucking door closed because I didn't open any fucking door. And Vivek was actually looking for Rami in his butcher outfit, and we got the people wrong. And then you got stabbed, and then you were stuffed in the fucking house. So don't even talk about I didn't bring you to the fucking hospital because you why were are you, fucking why are you, stuffed. Why are you swearing when you're talking to me? I'm talking to you. Am I not fine. allowed to swear now? But you, Am I like just, five years you're old? Just, but you're, when you're swearing, you're, back, you're being aggressive. We're just having a conversation and you trying to, you you saying I'm talking to you crazy, but you talking to me crazy. I'm just talking to when you normally. When did I say you're talking to me crazy? I said that you were stirring and you're saying that you didn't do anything I at said, all. I As, said I stirred in that situation. I just said that. So I'm aggressive now. I get it. You want to look cool in front of your daddy. But let me See, tell you how right. this is going to fucking go. I'm good. Uh, hold on. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Zo, get back. Nah, bro, I'm not doing. I'm not doing the extra Zo, shit. Here, I'm not doing the extra shit. She ain't gonna. She ain't gonna disrespect me. But what can the say say to be respectful? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Just look. Let's try. Let's actually try and resolve this. Zo. What you let's mean? Y'all seeing her talking no, 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 crazy? I ain't talking I'll crazy. I'll, I'll, I'll tell her to be respectful. We'll, 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 everyone, we'll tell her I'll to be, be just respectful. trying to uh, 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 okay. uh, ignore no, extra no, shit. Listen, go, go. Shit got heated. That's all. I told her to knock that shit off. She's emotional right now. She's been under a lot of pressure. Yeah, I know. I was supposed to call her half an hour ago. Three. But I'm not you know, fucking you know, moving on the indemnity bullshit. You gotta be the guy. You the big guy, I was stuck guy, in man. prosperity. You big And dumb. I hate talking it's on the phone. Like, like, and and, 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 and Kay, what would you do? You would leave. You'd be like, I ain't got time for this shit. Just leave. Might as well. I'm getting the gym now. Just wanted to check in. Just go back over there. Let's talk. The act up again. We'll handle it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, come on. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'll admit that was a low blow. I'm sorry. All right, cool. Listen, you guys are to go back and forth about uh, in your perspective versus her perspective. You just listen, guys. It, it, there's got to be a world where we, we can fucking coexist here because we're all one big fucking gang at the end mm -hmm. of the day, right? It sounds like to me, people were just poking at each other and, you know, eventually someone just snapped and here we are. Like I said, I've got no, I've got no, I've got no problem with Carmella. She, like I said, she, she seems like she has an issue with the me. The thing is, the, no, but the thing is, you guys go back and forth. This is not even the situation. You guys have always gone back and forth. So what is the root of the problem uh, from either side? I don't understand. I really would I mean, like to know. Honestly, I don't 
hate you solo. I just find you to be kind of like, you can't, you know, keep it to yourself. Like if someone is going through something or, you know, if something happens, you're always there to fucking rub it in. And what I was saying was that, you know, as soon as I, this thing happened and I was trying to tell you about what happened with Raymond and everything, you went and called her or texted her or whatever. Because she knew right away the things that I was trying to tell you and, you know, speak in, in private about to you in Paris. And she just went and texted me laughing at me for everything that happened. Like, I don't think any of you understand how really deep and serious the drama that I had with Raymond was. And I didn't, you know, involve you guys in it because it was fucking scary and it was fucking intense. But, you know, that's why it spiraled out like this and yeah I was really fucking emotional that day because I felt like I had nobody and she's getting clowns to kill me she's telling me I'm not allowed to you know involve any of the boys like she said I'm not allowed to tell Kay I'm not allowed to tell Ron and I'm just getting like uh -huh. shot down and fucked so over by this place. person okay. over and over again and then you and Tugs are just in my ear going oh, like yeah, oh well there. she's so nice what do you mean treatment. you're the yeah. mean girl stop being mean to her when it's literally been months and months of her going after me and all this and like her and i actually i kind of made up now like you know it's neutral but i'm just saying in that day that was probably the worst fucking time for you to choose to stir and i get it so i shouldn't have stabbed you i'm sorry but i was just literally at the end of my fucking emotions that's it. Um, and uh, I don't want you to misconstrue my words. I never said um, you're being mean to Ray. I never said that. I just said the whole situation of I thought the mean girl you embraced. But again, no, it was Tugs that said that. Oh, okay. You said she's nice. Tugs was like in my ear, being like, "You're the mean one." Da -da -da -da, like. And okay, yeah, and it's honestly, it's petty shit, it's dumb shit, and at the end of the day, I don't want it to make you feel unwanted or want to leave the gang because, you know, when you look at it overall, you are mad loyal and you are a ride or die, and you your value is a lot here, and, uh, you know, we do go back and forth, but if it gets serious, then we, we turn it down a notch. So, at the end of the day... I apologize for making you feel a certain way and it never can it didn't mean to come out like i didn't mean it to make it come like this all right so if we family we family if you don't like something we discuss it we don't do it again thank you and but i fuck with I'm you like if someone did something to you i would do something to them it's not it's not i don't fuck with like you know what i'm saying but i just don't want little shit to become big shit and petty shit Again, I never speak any ill on your name or nothing or drag you in any type of way. If I have a situation with you, I tell you to your face. Okay, and I don't hate you or, you know, anything like that. I have obviously <laughs> held a grudge for a while. Arf, arf, arf. <laughs> over, you know, things in the past and the Brooklyn stuff. But, you know, I'm willing to move past all that and... You know, it's my bad for holding on to things. But I guess I just had the impression that you really just didn't care. No, I care. I was going to hit you up uh, on Monday, but then I just p p people kept coming to me. And I, I just don't like the extra commercial. So I was waiting for shit to die down. I understand you. You know, you was going through a lot. I didn't. You know, Paris told me the whole actual story. So, yeah, you was going mm -hmm. through that shit by yourself. So, shit just kind of built up. So, I get it. And I didn't go to anyone, like, other than Pigeon and Arya um, and Rami and maybe Tugs and Mr. And, K. And maybe... But... <laughs> Holy <laughs> fuck. Anyone <laughs> else, Carmella? <laughs> Paris, Vinny? No, 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 stop. Never mind. Just stop. <laughs> The list goes on. The list goes on. And, and Rosa. And Rosa. Hold on. Hold on. And Rosa. But, Don't forget she Rosa. She did it within the gang. That's all that matters. She did it within <laughs> the gang. Talking, Don't forget Rosa. Uh... I'm sorry, Zolo, and I never wanted you to think that I have this, you know, 
big personal thing for you. I'd never want you getting hurt or you feeling pushed like that. And I probably should have just, you know, asked for help on how to fix the whole Raymond stuff before it spiraled out of control. But I think everything should be fine now. All right. I got your back for sure. Don't, don't, you know, despite, you know, family, we're going to argue, you know what I'm saying? But I got your back. But certain things, when it comes to like conflict, and big commotion so sometimes i avoid that so don't feel like i wasn't trying to speak to you it was just i was waiting for certain shit to die down okay okay we could go do a chop job now hell yeah anybody <laughs> else hate rami yeah, me, me, me. 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 Two hundred pounds. Oh, chat, that's over. Thank God.